We're back with the 100th show of Black Enterprise Business Report. This broadcast debuted in an economic landscape that was one of the most challenging since the Great Depression, marked by mortgage meltdowns, a severe credit crunch, and businesses going bankrupt in record numbers. And so we went to the nation's top financial powers in the public and private sectors to get the latest and best advice on how to weather this storm and come out a winner. And the president did put in place a sweeping, very creative, comprehensive set of measures, a bunch of tax incentives to small businesses too, and they are helping now. They're starting to help now, and you're starting to see for the first time the rate of growth of lending by banks to small businesses starting to strengthen. If you talk to banks across the country now, they're saying they're starting to see more demand from small businesses for lending, which is good. As we put $7 billion in neighborhood stabilization into these uh, neighborhoods that were particularly hard hit. We've very heavy investment in African-American neighborhoods in particular, and what we're seeing is when you have that kind of comprehensive strategy, vacancy rates have gone down in 75% of those neighborhoods. Two-thirds of those neighborhoods, the home prices have started to increase relative to surrounding investments. Identity theft is a huge problem in this country, and it seems to be growing. Is that just my impression, or is that the case? No, it's definitely growing, and ironically, it's growing amongst people that we know people that we know are actually stealing our identity. So kind of an inside job on your life. Yes, yeah. inside job on your life. And with the economic crisis, that also, people are struggling, so they're being desperate. We've been proud to inform you about efforts afoot to get the country moving again and make sure funds start flowing to you so you can multiply your money. Now, talk about multiplication. We're going to take a look at the power of partners. Some of the most successful businesses have two at the top. And whether they're married, siblings, or just good friends, they're proof that special relationships can yield significant rewards. Being young in this industry, it, it plays a big factor because people would always tell us, you know, we've been in this industry for a really long time, so we know what we're talking about. And sometimes we have to like, you know, bow that's down a and listen. So that's been a challenge, just being able to let our voice be heard. One of the things that we established very early on was that your ego is checked at the door. What's best for the company, regardless of who comes up with the idea, is what we go with. We'd be smarter in how much money we take out the first time, because like most businesses, we got out here and we got enough money to get us out to another ocean, but not enough to get all the way across to the other side of the land of our destination. So now that we've learned more, we bumped our heads, we struggled through it, and I think it's be we're better for it. I like to use these three L's to live, love, and laugh. Uh, you live the business together, you grow the business together, you have to take time out to love each other, and you have to laugh about things when sometimes there are those challenges. Power teams to put your money on, with pointers on working with those closest to you. Great advice. Coming up, high tech, high stakes, and high income. Moguls riding the technology wave to incredible wealth. And later, cashing in by helping the consumer look fashion forward and fit. We'll be right back. <laughs> 